The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain and so obvious and so simple. Muddy water is best cleared by leaving it alone. We cannot be more sensitive to pleasure without being more sensitive to pain. This is the real secret of life to be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now, and instead of calling it work, realize it is play. No one is more dangerously insane than one who is sane all the time. He is like a steel bridge without flexibility, and the order of his life is rigid and brittle. The art of living is neither careless drifting on the one hand or fearful clinging to the past on the other. It consists in being sensitive to each moment and regarding it as utterly new and unique and having the mind open and wholly receptive. The only Zen you find on the tops of mountains is the Zen you bring up there. You are an aperture through which the universe is looking at and exploring itself. We do not come into this world. We come out of it as leaves from a tree. The more a thing tends to be permanent, the more it tends to be lifeless. The reason we have poverty is that we have no imagination. There are a great many people accumulating what they think is vast wealth, but it's only money. They don't know how to enjoy it because they have no imagination. Life exists only at this very moment, and in this moment it is infinite and eternal, for the present moment is infinitely small. Before we can measure it, it has gone, and yet it exists forever. Man suffers only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun. Meditation is the discovery that the point of life is always arrived at in the immediate moment. Every intelligent individual wants to know what makes him tick, and yet is at once fascinated and frustrated by the fact that oneself is the most difficult of all things to know. You are a function of what the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is a function of what the whole ocean is doing. You don't look out there for God, something in the sky, you look in you. The more we try to live in the world of words, the more we feel isolated and alone. To have faith is to trust yourself to the water. When you swim, you don't grab hold of the water because if you do, you will sink and drown. Instead, you relax and float. The only thing that ultimately matters is to eat an ice cream cone, play a slide trombone, plant a small tree, good God, now you're free. We are living in a culture entirely hypnotized by the illusion of time, in which the so-called present moment is felt as nothing but an infinitesimal hairline between an all-powerfully causative past and an absorbingly important future. Problems that remain persistently insoluble should always be suspected as questions asked in the wrong way.